what would you say is out of these within reach, famous problems is the hardest problem we have today? Is the Riemann hypothesis? Riemann is up there. Um, P equals MP is, is a good one because, like, uh, that's a, that's a meta problem. Like, if you solve that in the um, in the positive sense that you can find a P equals MP algorithm, then potentially this solves a lot of other problems as well. And we should mention some of the conjectures we've been talking about. You know, a lot of stuff is built on top of them now. There's yep. ripple effects. P equals MP has more ripple effects than basically any other. Right. If the Riemann hypothesis is disproven, um, that'd be a big mental shock to the number theorists, uh, but it would have follow-on effects for um, cryptography. Um, uh -huh. Because a lot of cryptography uses number theory, um, it uses number theory constructions involving primes and so forth. And um, it relies very much on the intuition that number theories are built over many, many years of what operations involving primes behave randomly and what ones don't. Um, and in particular, our encryption um, methods are designed to turn text with information on it into text which is indistinguishable from um, from random noise. So, um, and hence, we believe to be almost impossible to crack, um, at least uh, mathematically. Um, but uh, if something as core to our beliefs as the Riemann hypothesis is, is wrong, it means that there are, there are actual patterns of the primes that we're not aware of. And if there's one, there's probably going to be more. Um, and suddenly a lot of our crypto systems are in doubt. Uh, yeah. But then how do you then say stuff about the, the primes? Yeah. <laughs> like uh, you're going towards the uh, Colex conjecture again. Um, because if I, 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 you, you want it to be random, right? You yes. want it to be yeah. random. Yeah, so more broadly, I'm just looking for more tools, more ways to show that that, yeah. that things are random. How do you prove a conspiracy doesn't happen? Right. Is there any chance to you that P equals NP? Is there some, can you imagine a possible universe? It is possible. I mean, there's, there's various uh, scenarios. I mean, there's, there's one where it is technically possible, but in practice never actually implementable. The evidence is sort of slightly pushing in favor of no, that we probably P is not equal to NP. I mean, it seems like it's one of those cases similar, similar to Riemann hypothesis. It, I think the evidence is le leaning pretty heavily on the no. Certainly more on the no than on the, on the yes. The funny thing about P equals NP is that we have also a lot more obstructions than we do for almost any other problem. Um, so while there's evidence, uh, we also have a lot of results ruling out many, many types of approaches to the problem. Uh, this is the one thing that the computer scientists have actually been very good at. It's actually saying that, that certain approaches cannot work. No-go theorems. It could be undecidable. We don't, yeah, we don't know.